like you've lost a battle? Not at all. Tonight is a critical point in my case, it's true. Uh, the case of human and democratic rights to organize, to assemble, to carry anti-war literature over a border. But it's only a critical point. I am leaving Canada tonight. I have to leave by 12 midnight. But that doesn't mean the battle is over by any means. We are entering into a full appeal of the case in federal courts, as well as we are going to continue petitioning, letter writing, getting support from MPs and MLAs, demanding that this two-year ban against me be lifted immediately and I be allowed to enter Canada as a U.S. citizen with no criminal record, only standing up and speaking my voice for peace in Canada. What happens later tonight then? We, meaning me and my supporters, are going down to the border just for a send-off. I'm going to collect my passport from Canada Border Services Agency and unfortunately that's when I have to sign the piece of paper saying that I won't be coming back for two years unless the ban is lifted or overturned in a federal court. The next step for me is to go to the United States, continue speaking my voice against war, against occupation, continue organizing with mobilization against war and occupation now on the other side of the border and continue fighting for justice in my case. When, when will the appeal be heard? We're right now in the process of applying for leave for a federal appeal. That is the first step, and then we will go and have the judicial review heard. This is a process that can take many months, but me and my supporters are ready and willing and very able to continue fighting for this ban against me to be lifted. A ban against an anti-war and social justice activist who doesn't deserve to be excluded from Canada for two years. Where's home going to be for the next two years? I don't know. I could go anywhere in the United States to continue organizing for social justice. I'll probably go back to Colorado for now. Great.